Hello students. Welcome to the class. This video is called Grammar Exercise Paragraph Writing. This is the hints of the hints. Paragraph Writing is an exercise. Here, it will give an idea of a topic. A sentence ex expresses a complete thought or idea. We do not, however, always speak or write isolated sentence, sentences. In performing some of the language functions, such as describing, narrating, arguing, reasoning, and discussing, we need to combine a set of sentences into a larger piece of text known as paragraph paragraph writing is linked very closely to another basic skill that of organizing our thoughts on a subject connecting them and expressing ourselves cleverly so this is an important skill that you will have to use all the time first as students and later on in your professional lives lives uh, in writing and speaking to the state of facts to examine and to analyze situations and to express your opinions it is important therefore to learn and practice how to write coherent paragraphs a paragraph is a small set of sentences related to a topic or theme or a single aspect of a much larger theme. It is arranged carefully in order to describe, narrate, discuss or present an argument. The best paragraph Best in terms of ease and uh, which can be easily understood. Best in the sense it can be easily understood or never very long. Except in scholarly or technical texts. They are long paragraphs. But easy best paragraphs here. This, this is because it is easy for a reader or listener to understand what is said when the information is present in short coherent bits for, for an example that will help you to understand the process of paragraph writing some let us take some sentences let us study some sentences first one in some places the temperature will rise higher than 2 or 4 degrees celsius the rise in Earth's average temperature may not sound like much, but scientists are very concerned about it. The Earth is getting warmer. Some governments are encouraging wind and solar energy production. The average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere has been increasing by just over 0 0.1 degrees Celsius every 10 years scientists predict that the average world temperature will rise by 2 or 4 degrees Celsius in less than a hundred years here note that all the sentences except one like uh, some governments are encouraging wind and solar energy production except that centers in in all deal with five pieces of information that are related to this idea central idea or theme which happens to be global warming hence the five sentences can be put together to form a paragraph on the topic every paragraph should have a similar unity of theme which means it should be built around a single idea 
the sentence expressing the central idea of a paragraph is called a topic sentence it's a topic sentence the topic sentence is always the most general statement into the paragraph and it includes in its scope all the other specific statements made about it it can be placed in the beginning or at the end of the paragraph although in texts relating to science or technology the first position is usually preferred sometimes the topic sentence is placed within the paragraph but this is not very commonly done the topic sentence in the set of sentences given above is the earth is getting warmer now see how we can omit the sentence in bold that does not reinforce or contribute to the central theme in any way the and older the remaining sentences starting with topic sentence in the set to form a paragraph the earth is getting warmer the average temperature of the earth's atmosphere has been increasing by just over 0.1 degree celsius every 10 years the rise in the earth's average temperature may not sound like much but scientists are very concerned about it sometimes scientists predict that average world temperature will rise by 2 or 4 degrees celsius in less than a hundred years in some places the temperature will rise higher than 2 or 4 degrees celsius note that although we have omitted the sentence not directly related to the rise in the earth's atmosphere and have arranged the five relevant sentences in some kind of leg logical order with the topic sentence at the beginning we do not still have an entirely coherent paragraph that could be used to convey the information on global warming in order to have a well connected piece of text in which there is a clearly logical progression of thought we will additionally have to link the individual points or ideas so that the earlier ones lead naturally to those that came later this can be achieved by using pronouns and other reference words to refer back to the to what appeared earlier in the paragraph and by linking the individual sentences with special group of words called linkers or connectives you can make the paragraphs some commonly used connectives are uh, and like this for example they are uh, conjunctions like uh, coherent conjunctions here uh, thus however therefore consequently subsequently also firstly secondly finally on the other hand in addition to to sum up these are the uh, connectives used to combine a paragraph sometimes we may even need to recast a sentence or make it fit 